za odrom na odru in v mes. 70 let nič proti več, nič proti večnosti. Starejši kot sem več je spominal, več je obletnic in letošnja je uredna kar 70 leti. Te najbolj okrogle je seveda treba spodobno proslaviti. Leto so mi v Kranju na Županovo pobudo pripravili odprtje razstave v Preširnovi galeriji, kjer je pred več kot štirimi desetletji kraljeval moj oče Franz Schiffler kot skrbnik. Sledil je pogovor v mestni knjižnici, za njim pa veliki gala koncert na gradu Kiselštajn. Za to priložnost sem si ob sebi na odru zaželel videti dva moja angleža iz začetka poti. To sta ena in edina, Dave Cook in Bill Thorpe. First meeting with Andre was in Slovenia. We were on tour with Al uh, Alexander Mezhek. Uh, we'd come from London. Uh, Mezhek was in London too, so we got to know him over there. And he asked us to come to Slovenia to do, I don't know how many shows, maybe six or seven shows. And we said, yeah, where is Slovenia? We had no idea. This was the for talking and talking letting spit scoopy took a small museum. Are we all for the museum? Very good. We're, we're yeah. actually old enough to be... Well, we should be here yeah. ourselves. Yeah. We should be here. Stay here. So, 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 let's, let's learn this. Just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> let, let's do the... the, the what? What's that? The... Uh, wax. The what? The, the Madame Toussaint. Oh, well, the two swords, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, let's do the... Do, I'm doing... <laughs> <laughs> okay. V zadnjih 45 letih smo se pogosto srečevali in z Dave Cookom kot producentom posneli na ducate uspešni sklad. Dave Cook, skromen londončan, je brez dvoma najbolj prepoznavan svetilnik moje glasbene poti. Izjemno odgovoren je, zanesljiv in zagledan, da ne rečem, zaljubljen v Slovenijo. Ko sem mu aprila le omenil, da se pripravlja gala koncert, mi je že naslednji dan postregal z možnostjo nakupati sedenjših letalskih kart. Kakšen gorenc, šparov je za me. Rubbish! Dobro riba. If I could put jasma vem, da ti si moja. I would, but I can't write it. Why wouldn't you do it as... Oh, yes, oh, it's phonetically. Yeah. David and I, we met in a concert in Cambridge. He was playing with Judy McKenzie as McKenzie Cook. And I was playing with Water Into Wine Band, which was a Cambridge-based folk rock group. Acoustic folk rock group. <laughs> I was playing the violin. I met Andre. Well, Dave and I came to do a little tour of Slovenia with Alexander Meshek. And that's how we met Andre, because I think Andre was helping to organise the tour. And he was great friends with, with uh, Sasha Meshek.
and we met uh, Alexander Mezek and Andrei Schifra at the station, Ljubljana. And we went to do the shows, but we didn't really see Andre until the very last concert. And we went into the studio because uh, Mezek said, uh, please use my musicians for some tracks. So we heard three songs. We went into the main studio in Ljubljana and with the other musician, Bill Thorpe, who came with me, the violinist, we played all the instruments for these three songs, the drums, the bass, the guitar, the piano, the organ, the mouth organ, the violin, the strings, the glockenspiel, everything, and then went home. Yeah, I th well, Zoba Blues was this one. Zoba Blues was the most famous one. And there's, um, was it Greg Covino? and Bill Simlad. Now my Slovenian is finished. <laughs> and we did those three songs and we didn't think any more. Uh, we thought, there's three nice songs. We're going home on the train and that's the end of it. Finish. Bye bye, uh, bye bye Andre. <laughs> And at the end of that tour, we, we recorded three songs. And we didn't know quite what, what we were doing, but they, they, they seemed to turn out quite well. Well, we came back, I came back six months later to a festival, a song festival, and I was walking somewhere and met Andre. And he said, have you heard? I went, heard what? He said, the songs you recorded, they're in the charts. <laughs> One of the songs had gone in the charts, heard nothing. And I said, wow, well, we must do an album. And I said, well, uh, where we do the album? Andre said, in London, of course. So that was the end of the conversation. Then I went home and Andre found this letter, this letter here that I wrote 40 odd years ago with a proposal of how we would make the album, how much it would cost. And I said, come to London and we'll make the album. And that was the beginning of this extraordinary adventure. During this trip, we went to Tuchin to do a small concert in the mountains, you know? That was incredible, the rain, the thunder, bang, and 200 plus people came to the concert. And this is brilliant, that I've never experienced anything quite like this, where Andre's friends, the people who love the songs, will come to the concerts. This is good for us, it's when we come from England, it's a very encouraging thing. You know? V pripravi na koncerte sem bil v predsepu, kako Dejva je bila umestiti in njima nameniti tako pozornost, kot si jo zaslužite. Skransko skupino The River Band smo imeli pesmi pripravljene, a Angleža sprva nista spadala v to sliko. Pred tremi leti sem imel z njima uvodni nastop v Galosovi dvorani Cankarevega doma z dodatkom Martina Žveljca na harmoniki, pa smo kar dobro zveneli. Tokrat smo dodali še Saša Vrabiča na kohonu in natuhtali akustične verzije pesme. Dva benda, en odr in izjemen violinist, Bill Thorpe.
I'm classically educated, but I've always liked a lot of different styles of music. We tend to get pigeonholed, your classical, your country, your jazz, your rock. It's hard to do a bit of everything, or folk. Be well, I used to do a bit of folk music. If you like the music and you understand it, um, then you, you can do it. I think most people are just so blinkered, they do their bit of music and, um, and stick to that. And then with Dave, Dave Cook, he'd often get me to come and do recordings, all different styles. And I'd, I'd try and feel my way into the style, you know. This was the first album from London that we did, and um, with most brilliant projects, we ran out of money. And we, we got to the end of the project, and then we found out we couldn't afford to, f to get the tapes for Andre to take home. So Andre did some fantastic wheeling and dealing and discussions and uh, managed to get the money. Krajanski nastop na gradu Kiselštajn je bil najbolj pomemben dogodek mojega glasbenega leta. Country na vdušenci The Riverband so bili okostje moje prvotne ideje, saj smo z njimi v zadnjih letih nekajkrat uspešno nastopili. Dodal sem jim še mojstra električne kitare Zorana Koširja in zvok se je kar obogatil. Njihova pevka Simona je z glasom in stasom vsaj malo polepšala prizorišče, ki so ga zasedali sami desci. Za oder je je vodila moja Mirjam Pouh, kateri sem pred odhodom na oder verjetno zlomil vrat, a kaže, da je navajena vsega hudega in je preživela. Brez nje si teh koncertov sploh ne morem predstavljati, ker vse počne z nasmehom in z njim okuži tudi resne in zamorjene. wasn't what the record company were expecting. They wanted the big orchestras and the strings and the trombones and blah, 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 blah. And this was all very small, quite intimate, very gentle. And it kind of resonated with people because the lyrics were the most important thing. <laughs> To mi je naslednja generacija in med nama tli vzajemno spoštovanje, ki ne potrebuje veliko besed. A se vedno odzove na moja vabila. Krasen fant. And meeting Tommy Meglish, it was very lovely, very delightful and very friendly. And we had, we're, we're playing with him tonight on, the, on, a, on a concert. So it, it's a treat. And it's nice, really, that we don't know them, how famous these guys are. You know, it, they're just nice people. Nice people to work with, you know. Aleksandra Meška ali Saša Meška sem spoznal ob koncu srednje šole in takrat me je začaral. Saj je bil in je še izjemen vokal, pa tako dobro je govoril angliško. Pravzaprav je imel vse, če se res nisem imel. Stoje Marija, kam odhaja, koga pušča, saj se boj. Stoi Maria. I remember that one. That was nice. Because I remember coming back here not long, about three years ago, and I heard it 
being played in a, a club somewhere, in a disco. Wow, it was really moving because I thought, I haven't heard this for maybe 40 years. And it sounded very, very nice. This is, is it? I think it's this one. This, this one here. Very, very good, really good. And it's a great m music album for me. And um, it's, because it was in Croatian, is that right? I think it didn't really, did it, I don't know whether it did, did it do good in, in Slovenia too? I don't know. But I, I loved, I love this album. That for me is my favorite album because I was able to uh, book some fantastic London musicians, Ray Russell, Barry D'Souza, Ken Freeman, uh, many, many good jazz players. Uh, there's a fantastic accordionist called Jack Emblow. It's a good one. And then we came back a little later and did this album, the, the, the double album. This is so many songs. And we did this in the park in Tivoli. We did it in Tivoli Park. And we had musicians come from London to Ljubljana. I was working with Cliff Richard then, and, and so some of the musicians with Cliff were. And I said, do you want to go to Ljubljana in Slovenia? And the same thing, where's Ljubljana? Where is Slovenia? And so how many, five or six musicians came from London, including a fantastic engineer. And we went to the studio in Tivoli and made the double album for Andre. <laughs> We did very little rehearsal, but we just went on stage with Andre and played. And it worked. And we're still in that place now. We're doing concerts and sometimes we go on, what's the song? Mm, I don't know. And we just play it and it's fine. It works. Well, I, yes, I, I remember the songs, but I have to practice them, yeah, to... Um, uh, because it's not the sort of music I'm playing a lot, so I have to get back into the, into the style, as it were, and um, refresh my memory of what I played on the songs and the sort of... Thing. But often improving what I played on the songs. So I'm going to go to the 
did the Gostilna track, but then many years later I heard it with the orchestra and I'd completely forgotten that it was this Slovenian anthem. so many tracks that had started in the early days and become this, I don't know, folklore. <laughs> Good test of time. Well done, Andre. <laughs> I've spent a long time on many projects and I used to do much work for the BBC where I was, you know, every week playing with different people. Denise Williams working with her on a very big project and a live show. Um, I, I've even forgotten their names. Who was the guy that did the duet with Phil Collins from Earth, Wind and Fire? Phil Bailey. And sometimes you just get very, almost forget, because with Cliff was, 
Cliff was fantastic because I did a lot of tours with him. Um, the last tour I did was 20 years ago, but it was a long tour, seven months, so you, you kind of don't forget that. But with sessions, and, and there were many people that I'd worked with, and I did a lot of commercials and had lived different lives, you know, which is interesting, which is why it's been fascinating working for Andre in a completely different culture, you know. Vlado Kreslin je sredi 70-ih velikokrat prijateljsko prespal pri nas in jaz po nastopih v prekmorju pri njegovih prijaznih starših v Beltinci. Celo natriglal sem ga spravil in na turnejo s kočijami od stražišča do mislinje. Zgodnje, a žlahtno prijateljstvo. Igrali smo in vlasti. 